I have watched so many Nigerian movies way back in secondary school. In fact, from primary school, just to name a few. True Confession, Glamour Girls, End of the Wicked. Does that ring a bell in your head? <laughs> Let me know down in the comment section, okay? So, it's just to tell you guys that I am a huge fan when it comes to Nigerian entertainment. I love it. When it comes to um weddings decor and all that i love nigeria when it comes to that and also i have also interacted physically with some nigerians you guys remember my girlfriend that if was here a couple of weeks ago and the few times we spent together was amazing i loved it and i have also made friendship online as well as a youtuber and also i have I can boldly say that okay i know something about nigerians now disclaimer please i have never been to nigeria before which is also my wish that someday i get to visit nigeria and i will be so so happy about it anyways in this video i'm going to be comparing nigeria and cameroon please my cameroonians are very very beautiful people as well but this is not in any way to bash on anybody i'm just like telling you guys through my experience and also of something i have observed about nigerians i've looked into it i'm like okay nigerians are like this and cameroonians are like this so that's what i'm going to be sharing in this video so if this sounds like something you'll be interested to know about these two amazing people god created in his own image okay please keep watching Here it goes a little hi guys welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here hi my name is mercy diary in case you are not new thank you so much my love for always coming back to watch my videos i really really appreciate it so let's jump right into this video right away in this video i'm going to be talking about the differences between cameroonians and nigerians based on my observation so the first thing i'll say about the differences between Cameroon and Nigeria is that, guys, Nigerians are super, super colorful. <laughs> All of you agree with me that Nigerians are colorful. Even the Nigerians in my church, we have this, this group in my church. It's called Temple Choir. When it comes to celebrating, okay, you will see them coming out in their colors, in their colorful outfits, and it's always bright. And I've also watched in YouTube videos, you know, when a Nigerian is celebrating maybe birthday, weddings. Oh my God, you will see how colorful they look from their ashebi to mothers of the bride, uh, mothers of the groom and all of that put together. They are looking super, super beautiful. They are so, so colorful and their colors are always, always bright and beautiful. See, these people know how to combine colors together. Oh, you will, that is... They will come up with kind of a combination that you will never imagine exists that can ever work out but they know how to put it together and that is so so beautiful and i love it meanwhile with cameroonians we also love color but our colors are always in a cool tone we don't do it so bright and that is the difference okay so i really really find that really really like intriguing because see this part of africa they love colorful they love bright colors why this other part of africa they love colors but they love the cool tones so that is something i find really really interesting okay so the second thing i would say about nigerians and cameroonians is that i feel like nigerians are more business minded meanwhile cameroonians are more corporate minded if you believe what i'm telling you right now please leave it down in the comment section okay now when you go to nigeria or from what i have observed from movies i don't know but you will see that most nigerians are always talking about business even if a nigerian is you know uh having a corporate job in a minute or two she will tell you or he or she will tell you that i dropped my corporate world to become a businesswoman they are so so business oriented and i really really admire that meanwhile for us here as cameroonians we are so much into corporate like we, we like to get up in the morning wear our suits dress wear wear talon <laughs> or heels you know put our hair together you know and go to the office and start answering yes sir yes sir 
you know look corporate look balance and all that so that is really really interesting on both countries i know that in nigeria yes we also have people that work as you know they work in the corporate world as well as in cameroon we also have people that are into business but i feel like for the most part nigerians are more business oriented it's like their ancestors started with business why our own ancestors <laughs> they started with the corporate world that's how i see it okay and i'm just saying that based on my observation from movies from friends and all that so that is the difference between us and nigerians so if you agree please or if you have something different if you have a different opinion about this please drop it down in the comment section okay let's discuss the next thing i'll say about the difference between nigerians and cameroon is that i don't i don't know if i'll call it difference or similarities no let me just put it difference now nigerian pigeon english is kind of english english like why cameroonian pigeon english is raw now we can understand when a nigerian speaks pigeon we can clearly understand because sometimes they'll say like where you they go wait till you what are you eat? i don't know <laughs> i can't really think of anything now but it always starts with something like an english word but take where you they go and let a, a cameroonian ask that same question just here who say you who you go do you see or you understand that a nigerian can barely understand our pidgin english who say you go who say who you can feel that it is really really raw but for us, we can understand when you say where you go. We know that where is referring to your destination. Do you get? So we have very, very crude and raw pigeon. But Nigerians, they kind of have that pigeon English kind of pigeon. I don't know if that even makes sense. I might be making sense right here. So that is something I've really, really observed. We have these comedians, yeah, which they are doing so well. They are making us so proud. Caro and Kupis, they recently traveled to Nigeria to like a collaboration with this uh, comedian. I don't forgotten the name. And they were comparing pigeon in Cameroon pigeon English and Nigerian pigeon English. And um, she got pregnant. She don't carry belly. Yeah. He don't carry belly. Ah, that one you try. Or he don't go Jake belly. You don't go with him. You don't go Jake belly. You don't go drink. Jake. Jake, Jake belly. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's that one. Hello, show. <laughs> From that conversation, that was when I got to understand that ha, our pigeon is raw because the guy was not understanding anything, but we could understand everything in Nigeria. We ask us where you come out, come out that dress, come out your clothes. So I just feel like it's a huge difference and that is something really interesting and yeah <laughs> this next point will put me into serious trouble but it's the gospel truth and this is something that when my friends travel to nigeria they always come back with this observation okay or with this remark with cameroonians when they travel to nigeria you can clearly tell the difference in the sense that when they go to a bar to drink see if you're a cameroonian please <laughs> back me up okay we love to drink that is i don't know that is fact i'm not even if i, I don't even care if, if you people come behind me on this particular one we like charge when cameroonians go to nigeria nigerians will always tell they can immediately tell that these are strangers because from what my friends tell me they are like the way these people look at us when we are drinking they are like these are no nigerians because ha, you know when a cameroonian want to drink like when they want to drink they don't know how to start with one one bottle two bottles they will start from five to ten they will put it on the table as if it's it's problem <laughs> so whenever they go to nigeria and they start drinking nigerians will immediately know that these are foreigners and coming from where cameroon the cameroonians we don't hide we need to hide them. <laughs> we don't hide it. We know we want to enjoy ourselves. We don't care about maybe you are in a different country. You want to respect yourself. No, this people don't. Eh, eh. We, we put it down. We level it. 
we level it as it comes and yeah that really makes it interesting so comment down below what you think about this point i know it's going to put me to trouble but that's a fact okay <laughs> now last but not the least on the differences between cameroonians and nigerians is that Nigerians are loud spoken. That is not to mean that they just shout, they, they just scream like that. No. What I mean is that they don't hide their feelings. They go all out, you know. And that really makes it interesting because when you're reserved, you keep a lot in your mind. And if somebody will not understand where you're coming from, Nigerians will tell you their mind. They will not hide it. And whenever they are talking, you can tell like for example i'm going to be using my girl fidela oh my god fidela will tell you as he comes she will not hide her feelings and that is something i've also witnessed like when my friends come back like you know when we interact with some of my friends who visit nigeria they'll say, they'll say the same thing like nigerians are loud why cameroonians are reserved okay we are so calm we want to talk to you we'll be like hi how are you doing are you good you know that kind of tone right we don't kind of take it all out you get so and even when we want to be, uh, interact we try to you know choose our words kindly we don't just give it out there like that as it comes so that is something different about nigerians and cameroonian and which is really really interesting and yeah so anyway guys that is everything i know about the differences between cameroonians and nigerians just based on my observation i know you say that all nigerians are not like that all cameroonians are not like that please like i said these are based on my observation okay they are my own opinions if you have your opinions please don't hesitate to drop it down in the comment section like i said it's not in any way to bash on these two amazing countries okay we are neighbors and one day i will hope to visit nigeria and i'll be able to say facts real facts about the differences between cameroon and nigeria okay when i'm there to observe everything like you know but for now these are based on let me say up up <laughs> observation and uh, yeah so thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you do like it please give it a thumbs up please subscribe to me check out my other videos here there will be link on they'll appear on the screen okay catch up on my other videos and i'll see you all in my next one stay blessed and stay safe bye